So anyway, uh, so yeah, here is the you great Sally. Put it on a um, music song. Sure. Here with the great Sally Honor, faith and energy healer, out of Nashville, <laughs> via, via Virginia. I'm oh, sorry. That's what music stands are for. Oops. Other one, I guess. This one, yeah. <laughs> yes, Cro Magnum man. Yeah. Made good. So, anyway, I've already seen a couple kids on this trip. I'm going to be seeing uh, Bronson and Chris, the kids I, yeah. I always like to try to help the most. Yes. But, plus, I'm educated now, so I know that an education and the ability to think and analyze things is the ticket. Yeah. And I'm trying to sell that message as fast as possible with as little contact as possible, so... Yeah. What I want to try to be able to do is do it with, uh, you know, just a thought. Yeah, so shifting your sit bones down another couple inches. Yes, yeah, so you are longer than you think, and my table is shorter <laughs> than you think. Okay, so, well, let's see if we can get some of the kinks out. We'll do that first. So, you know, exam kinks, driving kinks. Yeah, my back is killing me from driving. Yeah. Most cars are just not, the seats aren't designed for good use. They're designed for people with poor use and, and they get sore backs too. I'm going to put your glasses on with you so I don't smash them. Sure. Alright, so right in this area of the hip we're just going to think that the muscles release away from the sacrum. And there are lots of hip rotators in there. And there's a gluteus minimus and of course the gluteus maximus. And they can get locked short and then They start to pull pull the pelvis out of um, whack. That's a very technical term, whack. Out of whack. And this, and also is released. And this. So when you get back pain, is it mostly in the lumbar region? Uh, yeah. Middle left. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, this semester, I really learned a lot about um, what happens when you use Alexander uh, for grounding and how important that is. And so I, I do it and I'm inviting you to do it by really dropping your awareness down into your body all the way down to your sit bones. As one of my students said, she said, I like it when you sit for me to be my sit bones. So you're really connecting, first of all, with your sit bones. And then with the sit, between the sit bones and the ground, and you're right now your sit bones are at right angles to the ground, but it doesn't really matter. What you're actually doing is making an energy connection, but one of the ways you know it's happening is your breath will automatically change. The belly will soften and the breath will on its own get slower and deeper. Another thing that happens is your excess muscular tension begins to flow away. And another thing that happens is your senses get more alive. And then another thing is that your anxiety level drops. 
Now you can do this anywhere because it's not dependent upon a position. It's just that thought of getting your awareness out of your head enough to connect head and sit bones together and then connect the sit bones to the ground. Yeah, good. You feel a difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's say you have an exam or you're getting ready to teach or anything that tends to wire you up past the point of being comfortable. Uh, this is a good thing to do. You can still teach. You can still be upbeat. You, in fact, your mind gets clearer. Your ability to interact with the other person gets um uh, much clearer as well, and then you and you have to touch base with that thought frequently, because otherwise you'll pop right back into your head, and your um, high-powered brain will take over. So it's that business of getting into the body so that the head has something to ground it. Otherwise, it's kind of like electricity. There's no, if you're not grounded, there's no ground for all of that energy, that's uh, mental energy, which is very fast. And um, leads us astray. Where do you have to be at 2? I think not till 2.30. Oh, okay. St. Mary's. Okay. Yeah, so keep connecting to your sit and then sit bones to ground. Yeah, so what all are you noticing when you when you do that, Andy? Uh, it feels a little looser. Right in this area? Yes. Yeah, yeah. How about your legs? What, what change in your legs? Maybe a little warmer, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How have your hands been? They're quite warm now. Uh, well, not, not good, but that's because I just had the surgery on the right hand. Oh, you had some surgery? I finally had that carpal tunnel. Oh, uh -huh. scar right there. Yeah. And I guess it causes inflammation post-surgery. Okay, yeah. So at this stage, it doesn't really feel any better than what it did, but for different reasons. Yeah. Possibly because of the inflammation. Yeah. So, so that's a little rough when you're trying to type all the papers. Yes. 